Hello engineering students, this is Mr. Wilsey. In this module, we're going to start a whole new unit on computer-aided design and 3D printing. The skills you'll learn in this unit are transferable to a wide variety of engineering subfields, including architectural design. For example, this here is a CAD model of a building designed in the same exact software that you'll be learning how to use in the next few weeks. By the end of this unit, you'll be able to create something just like this. Now, you can create a three-dimensional CAD model of anything you can imagine. And using a device called a 3D printer, like this, you can print that object out of plastic, like this baby Yoda. Now, as 3D printing has become more widely available, your school probably has one or will next year, people have found lots of creative ways to use 3D printing to solve real-world problems. Take a look at this object right here. What do you think this thing is? What do you think it does? Take a second to guess. What is this mystery object? Well, during the current COVID-19 pandemic, nurses and other medical professionals have been putting in 12, 14 hour shifts uh, for six days straight at a time. They are working overtime to help the surge of patients infected with this d disease. An engineer listened to what these nurses were going through and designed this object to uh, help alleviate some of the discomfort that nurses and medical professionals feel when the elastic band is wrapped around their ears. So this 3D printed plastic material wraps around the back of their head and helps them wear masks for long periods of time. Let's take a look at this quick video of a doctor putting on one of these for the first time. And then we also have um, these here for these masks. Oh, right. So this is always an annoying, these are the ear savers, right? Yes, yeah, the ear savers, yeah. So this is how it usually is. Mm -hmm. And then with these, they would just... Yeah, um, so it's it's quite compliant material. Um, so you can, if you need to, you can just kind of give it a bit of a bend to conform to the back of your head. Right, and so you go. go like this. And then, or maybe like this, and then... Yeah. This is going to be an amazing thing. Oh, that's awesome. honestly that's wonderful wow. to hear. Wow, my ears are saved. <laughs> Hence the name, <laughs> ear saver. Look at that. Seriously, you don't know what a big difference this makes. This is revolutionary. So, 3D printing can revolutionize the world in small ways like that. Okay, so we're going to begin this unit by designing fun things and sometimes useless things, but the tools that you'll learn how to use can make a positive impact on people's lives if you find the right opportunity to apply them. So now let's talk about this module. First off, watch these two videos here and then answer this question uh, by replacing the red text. Then follow these instructions here to create a Tinkercad account. Okay, Tinkercad is going to be the software that I'm showing right here. That is uh, how we're going to learn about computer aided design. When given the option, press let's go and then work through all of the tutorials. Then you'll get to a lesson called keyring letters. And I want you to create a keyring with your name on it. Make sure to resize the keyring and group it to be one color. I give you an example of what mine looks like right here. Okay. Then I want you to use the snipping tool to take a screenshot of your key ring. Okay, the way to do that is to go down to the search bar, type in snipping tool. This should pop, well, it'll pop up like this. Press new, let's actually go here, press new, and then you can click and drag to select whatever you want to take a screenshot of. Okay, once you have this, right, um, yeah, right click, Press copy, and then you can paste your image right here. Boom, sort of like that, okay? If you need to, you can crop the image by going up to this button right here, and then drag the black sliders until just the item you want to show is in the black area. Then press enter, and then you have cropped, okay? Now, obviously, you're not going to take a picture of this. You're going to take a picture of your key ring and paste it there. Okay? Then answer this short question here. Watch these videos if you are really fascinated by 3D printing. 
And then finally, your mastery check. Your mastery check is to create a table, just like this, with four legs and a flat platform at the top. Okay. Once you've created your table in Tinkercad, paste the image right here. Make sure that it is cropped to the correct size. Okay. If you need a little extra support creating this table, then you can follow these steps down here. These give you a little bit more step-by-step -step instructions. But other than that, um, that is the lesson for today. Um, we are going to continue working in Tinkercad for the next couple of modules. And by the end of it, I hope that you are a pro and we will have a really fun project that will put your skills to the test. Okay. Have a great rest of the day.